So you've got a ball python, or maybe a few ball pythons, and regardless of the size of their enclosure, you may have at one point thought, does he need exercise? And like, how far can I take him for a walk? I guess a standard leash would work, but where do you put the collar? Like, where does his neck even end? Maybe you just do a treadmill. Or like a hamster wheel, but for snakes, a snake wheel. That smells like hamsters so that the snake will want to... Today's video is all about enrichment and exercise. Welcome to the green room. I'm Bob Bledsoe. Say hello to Kent, working hard behind the camera. That snake keeps looking at me. It's making me feel uncomfortable in the workplace. Do you ever feel comfortable in this workplace? No, but mom says I have to get out of the house and go to work. Well, she's right, so thanks for being here. The snake that uh, keeps looking at Kent is Ron. You may recognize him as the newest addition to the Green Room Python family. He is doing fantastic, and he's really well socialized since he got here. Um, and he's beautiful. He's an inchy spot nose asphalt and i love the high expression asphalt that he has it almost makes him look like a calico i in fact if i didn't know i would guess that he's a calico anyway let's try to answer the question does he need exercise i think most would agree that some sort of exercise is good for any type of animal this particular species of snake does not move around as much as other species ball pythons are ambush predators and they often will sit in the same spot for days but that doesn't mean that exercise isn't good for them. I kind of think of ball pythons as like the English bulldog of snakes. And I might be wrong about the dog species because I've never had an English bulldog. But when I imagine the English bulldogs that I've seen, uh, they're usually a heavy bodied dog that's laying in the kitchen with their jowls draped on the floor. They don't particularly want to go for a walk necessarily. Uh, but a walk is really good for them. So that's kind, of, uh, that's kind of what ball pythons are like. And we're not talking about going for a walk outside. I'm actually going to do a separate video about taking your snake outside your front door. Um, that's going to be different. But we're just talking about giving them some enrichment along with a little bit of exercise. For my snakes, I would prefer that they get some out of their enclosure time or at least be offered some time out of the enclosure. Uh, that's not to say that snakes that spend their entire lives in a well set up enclosure aren't totally healthy and happy because we've seen time and time again that they are. There's a lot of snakes that live in their enclosure pretty much all the time and they do just fine. A again, in a properly set up enclosure. Uh, but I like my snakes to have the opportunity to get out and that's not just, that doesn't just mean this kind of like hand over hand manipulating them around in, in my hands because that is a bit of exercise and enrichment, I guess, but it's not necessarily what they would want to do. If I offer to put Ron on the ground, he's going to crawl onto the ground and start exploring like he did this morning. He had a nice little 15 or 20 minute explore about, which is usually about all he wants to do, but he did very well and I think had a good time. I mean, had a good time as much as snakes can have a good time. It gives him a little bit of exercise just cruising around, but it's it's also mental stimulation. He's figuring out what's going on in his world and, and what's out there. I have a general rule that if I open an enclosure and it looks like a snake wants to come out, I allow them to come out. I don't necessarily take them out. Uh, I mean, I do sometimes, but, but what I try to do is let them come out on their own if they want to come out. And a lot of times, it's just, especially with the breeding females right now, they don't necessarily want to come out and wander around, but they'll stick their neck out and check things out for a while. If I leave the tub open just a little bit and then they'll move into the back of their tub. Now I'm watching them the whole time because if they do choose to come out, I want to know that they're on the ground uh, when I'm walking around. But I, I want to give them the opportunity to come out. Freya came out a few weeks ago. This was a really rare moment for her because she likes to stay in her hide anyway, but she wanted to come out one morning and it was, if I remember right, it was like four in the morning. It was really early. And she wandered out and climbed over everything and jostled the younger one's tubs around. And I kind of just let her do what, whatever she wanted to do because it was so rare that she 
came out. Most of the bigger snakes, I have them just wandering on the ground and I follow them around. I'll spend like an hour following Lucille around because she likes to wander a lot when she comes out. And then the younger ones like to wander the countertop. And that's one that I really have to watch them because I don't want them falling off the countertop. But Delilah loves to get herself into trouble. She likes to climb into the plants. Those of you that follow me on Instagram have seen Instagram reels like this one. A little bit too fat to climb up there, but she's trying. I got you, baby girl. Poor plant. You got it? Are you up there? <laughs> She did just fine. I try to I try to redirect her now when she tries to climb up into that plant because even though she's fine, I don't think the plant's going to survive as she gets bigger. But that countertop is a great spot for them to just sort of go back and forth and cruise around for a little while. Molly Malone usually climbs up onto the counter and cruises around. Lydia Deeds, who's exactly the same size as Molly, usually comes out of her tub and climbs down. She wants to be on the floor. So she'll cruise around the floor for quite a while and then she has one favorite spot that she likes to go behind and as soon as she goes behind there and curls up, I know that it's time to put her back. And that's kind of my indicator. If they're trying to hide and, you know, I'll let them hide for a little bit because sometimes they'll go and hide for a couple minutes and then come back out and explore more. So I'll let them do it for a little bit. But if they're in an extended hiding situation, I'll put them back. So allowing them to cruise around is a great thing to do, but it does take time. If, you're, if you don't have a totally snake-proof room, for them to wander in, you do have to follow them all over the place. And I don't mind it if I'm up and it's really early in the morning and I don't have anything else to do, I don't mind following them all over the place. But sometimes I got stuff that I gotta do and they're doing fine being out and about. So here's the solution that I found. This little packet right here is a fully enclosed dog pen that I got this idea from Lori Torini uh, she's got a fantastic YouTube channel. She does snake training videos. You should check her out, Lori Torini. And she has several of these, and they're fantastic for snakes. Oh, Kent's Corner. Yes, let's cut to a Kent's Corner where we can learn more about this dog pen and not have to have Kent deal with snakes. Hi, and welcome to Kent's Corner. I'm here today to show you how to set up this um, thing that's supposed to contain your snakes even though it's not made out of reinforced steel. So I don't know how well it's gonna work, but here's how you set it up. You simply unzip the package and you take out the, you take out the playpen and then you unfold it. This one, this comes. Take that, just like that. And then you take this top part, and you, the zipper, that goes in the zipper. No, no, that didn't go. There. Zip it up. Just like that. Easy as, easy as pie. And then to put it back in the sack, you, you just, you just stomp it down into the sack. I'm not gonna do it because I'm winded. Thank you for watching Ken's Corner, the everybody's favorite segment on the Green Runner and Python's channel show. Informative. Thanks, Kent. So here's what I do with this thing. I set it up and put a bunch of random stuff in there. I've got boxes, I've got, I've got hides that I'll flip upside down or, or turn over the right way, foliage, whatever, to throw in there for them to explore and climb over. If I put a snake in there and they immediately hide and don't come out, that tells me that they're not comfortable being in there and it's better to have them in their enclosure. The inspector, when presented with a new environment, he tends to not be comfortable. So if I pull him out of his hide, he's always in his hide in, in the bioactive. Um, I pull him out of his hide and put him into the, the playpen. He'll hide immediately. He'll sort of freak out a little bit, like he'll start acting a little erratic and then he'll go and hide and he's done. But if I let him find the playpen himself, he'll do great. He'll go in and explore and have a great time. So 
in this little video, I put a chair there because I thought he would use that to help him get down into it. He was, I was letting him come out of his enclosure by himself. He didn't use the chair, uh, so which is fine. He got in there and he cruised around for a while and did just fine because he chose it. He wasn't placed there. Some of the young girls do just fine. I put them in together. In fact, that's another thing. If you have multiple snakes, I'll put the girls in together. Not the not the big breeding females. They've never been in there because I just got this and they're they're in breeding season. But my younger ones, I'll put in together and they do just fine. They ignore each other, you know. I kind of have a rule that I don't want I don't want the males in together. I think they would be okay, but it's breeding season, so I don't know. I don't. Even, I just don't want to risk a, a problem. But this is an interesting thing that happened the other day, and I learned my lesson. Uh, Ron was by himself in the playpen. Lydia Dietz was coming out of her enclosure, and I was kind of watching with with the playpen. I usually leave the top open. You know, I can zip it closed if if I'm not totally supervising them, but. I'll usually leave it open. They're not going to get out, but they could. Like there's a chance that they could if it's if it's open. So I had the top open and Lydia's crawling around and she kind of crawls on top of the edge. She's crawling around the edge of the playpen. And I thought, all right, well, she gets in there. She gets in there. I'll, you know, no big deal. I'll just watch and see what happens. So she climbed in and immediately she's 500 grams. She's a 500 gram female. She immediately starts tail wagging and scenting the enclosure. This is, um, f for those of you that aren't breeders, this is breeder female behavior. This is like, I am ready to breed. And Ron didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't give it time. I was like, no way, we're not doing this, you little trollop. And I took some video and then pulled her out immediately uh, because she is not ready for breeding. But I just thought that was interesting and I learned my lesson. Do not put the young females even in with the males unless you want breeding action to happen, which you don't when they're young. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> that, uh, was crazy. And, um, you got a little snippet of video there. I had to clean up some pee that was, that was in there. Cause she started doing that, scenting the enclosure. And, uh, it was a crazy situation. So that's it, you guys. If you want to give your snake some mental stimulation and physical exercise, those are a few ideas of how I do it. Again, we're gonna have another video, in fact, it might be next week, on taking your snakes outside. In public, out of public, what do you do? How do you handle it? Uh, yeah, I think that'll be next week's video, maybe. We'll do that as a, uh, as a little back-to-back -back series. So anyway, Kent, Follow me for more Kent's Corner instructional how-to videos. Do you want to do the Green Room Python's marketing department stuff? Like and subscribe and follow our Instagrams and get your sticker packs. Can I go home now? Thanks for watching.